What is going on everyone? It's me Nato here and we do have finally the details for Int Angel going to freeze this easy A and let's just looking at this 250% attack. Uh, I don't know this guy already seems like obviously he looks like he's going to be very very strong. I'm very excited to see how his easy A is going to end up um, looking like in game but his details again all looking pretty fantastic uh honestly let's hop right into it we do have translations from Goresh right here about what the unit does so let's go through it so of course he is not a resurrected warriors category leader of key three and 170 percent to stats in types 120 percent to stats now um they haven't updated his for his easy a huh that's interesting okay but yeah we know that um resurrected warriors is a uh, it's, it's an okay category right when we get like a part to lr going to freezer or something that's going to really help this team we're getting some buffs though like this guy you know uh got his awakening easy recently mod which came out recently we have the intimate cooler easy that came out recently right there's some pretty good options even this guy is still good like you can run a pretty solid like frieza based team around this so that's nice his super attack effect he now greatly raises defense for one turn causes immense damage to enemies and greatly lowers defense for the turn right I, again let me try and refresh today I, i'm really surprised they don't have on, on the side axis i'm gonna try and pull up his easy stats if y'all don't mind but essentially with the um what's it called with the out of i think no that's the int normal going frieza Ah, uh, wait, I, I want to find his easy A stats so I could see a good actual, um, so I could see, like, an actual representation of how his easy A stats actually look like. I know his defense stat is really high, so that's going to be really good with a greatly raising defense, right? Um, but yeah, we know, like, again, the greatly raised defense by itself is amazing, great lowers defense. So, regarding his passive skill itself, now obviously this is where things get really good. 250% attack is a lot of attack. And then 150% defense at the start of turn. Like, I don't, I don't, I just, I took a pause right there. Just, I don't even know. Um, I, it is good, right? At all enemies attack minus 15% and then an additional 7% a debuff for super class allies and enemies. So he still does keep the debuff, but 7% is just like nothing, right? So this guy is looking like a super bad road unit so far, right? Because he does want to debuff enemies attack. So in total, he debuffs enemies attack by 21%, which is a pretty solid amount for the passive skill, right? Um, Although it does have the enemies debuff, but it's, it's okay. He gets an additional 100% attack and defense if there's a super class enemy. Again, another another thing where he wants to be facing a super class enemy. And unfortunately, you know, that's not going to be really that great for Red Zone. Yeah, there. Okay. We have his details here. His easy stats are still not here. Are you kidding me? That's really annoying, but it's fine. They're probably working on it. But yeah, um, the additional 100% attack and defense if there's a super class enemy. That is not obviously something for Red Zone. Uh, and people may be like, oh, I'm sick of hearing about if a unit is good for red zone or not, right? And it's, okay, it's it's a fair point to make, but like what super battle roads are this is this guy even in? Like if we take a look, like recent super battle roads, I can think of like Wicked Bloodline. That'd be really good at Wicked Bloodline. Um can I just, like click on this please? Hello? Okay. Uh, let's look at Super Battle, right? Extreme Super Battle Road, for instance. Like recent stages is in Reps Universe 7 Wicked Bloodline. Like, and I would say these are pretty hard, difficult stages, right? Um, but they've been out for a while already. And I wouldn't say this freeze as a unit you need to beat that stage, right? Well, as we definitely do need units for red zone specifically. Um, yeah, uh, that's that. I would say that is the thing about it. Normal super battle road, right? Um, let's see, recent stages. No, terrifying conquerors was pretty difficult, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it from there. So Golden Frieza, again, he seems seems really strong for sure. Um and he is super effective against all types when there's another representative Universe 7 category ally attacking in the same turn. See, that's good because 
he doesn't really link well on the reps universe 17 right that's why they gave him it so you could at least keep up with the damage um but the issue is that this team is not really that great anymore ui goku's good still blue evolution vegeta is probably better than people give him credit for even me myself i probably underrate him um these guys are good but like you know everyone else is kind of blue evolution vegeta is good as well you're solid but everyone else kind of like aged out at this point like universe survival saga in general the team isn't really good like if we take a look at the universe survival saga category team it's just not really any anything to write home about it's like we, we need a lot more units um there especially right what, let me let me see this golden frieza what what units does he actually link with um you know a really good option that he can be run with though is the physical angel golden frieza right because the physical angel golden frieza will share five links with them like that so these two together they will he will be able to get a super effective with the angel golden frieza which the, again the angel golden frieza um with well, the bold angel golden frieza the physical angel golden frieza is still a pretty capable unit that could actually do still do a lot of things right he's aged pretty well because no one really talks about him um just because right it just yeah how do i explain it he since he has not big bad bosses you're not gonna run him on all these villain teams but these two will make a pretty strong rotation i think this guy could be once his defense is stacked up he could be a really good slot one unit for this guy this guy might even be a pretty good slot one unit himself actually with 250 percent defense his defense again is like 13.4k or something i i couldn't find his stats anywhere um but his again his defense is quite powerful for sure so that's the good thing about that um let me see this luca let me see maybe luca dokan posted the stats but i really want to see the stats of them but unfortunately i just do not see the stats um of the unit specifically which does suck unfortunately i wish that i had the stats here so i can get a better idea of how he looks like i'm gonna keep complaining about it i don't care yeah whatever but yeah um overall he seems pretty good he's a very very powerful unit i am very excited to see how he looks like in game I just am. Um, I will. I, I will just say I'm a little disappointed. He's not a red zone unit, but for all we know, we could be getting like a new type of red zone for even Dragon Ball Super Superhero coming out in a few days. We have the um, worldwide download celebration. Maybe we can get a super class version of it there. Again, they seem like to be really building up Wicked Bloodline recently, so we'll see more and more Wicked Bloodline soon. I think for sure, but. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Angel Golden Frieza EZA. I, I think he's very powerful. Um, by the way, we we actually don't have the Tech Ginyu EZA uh, details. I don't know why they actually haven't posted the Tech Ginyu EZA details. But we'll see that in the data download tomorrow. I'm going to go load if we don't need more. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.